Hello and welcome back to another video tutorials. In this video, we're gonna talk about data cleansing. Data cleansing is important stages in data analysis. Data scientists spend 80% of their time for cleansing data and 20% for building machine learning pipeline. Today, I'm gonna show you how to clean data and convert it into structured formats. First, uh, I have census.csv files, which contains census data. Uh, so uh, first uh, import pandas, because pandas is a powerful tool for data analysis and regular expression array for removing special characters from data. Now let's read census data using pandas read csv census.csv. Let's explore the first five rows of our data to understand the values, to understand our data. Let's look at this data. We have four columns and number of rows. But the data is, as, as we understand this data, uh, the data is scrapped from website because it contains an HTML tags. Therefore, this data is partially parsed data. So it, it needs to be clean and remove all the tags from our data. From, uh, to remove all the tags from our data, we, uh, uh, let's define a function, remove tags, and with parameter string, result, then re.sub. This is a regular expression that replace special uh, characters tags with dots with empty string, then return a result. Now uh, let's run this cell and, but still uh, we have three columns which contains uh, tags, HTML tags. So we need to create another function to apply this remove tags function into uh, all three columns. If apply calls with df data frame and list of columns for every call in for every call in columns we apply df call <coughs> df call dot apply method apply method is important to apply lambda function and we pass this x variable into a remove a tags function and apply to all columns in our data frame x and run this call and this function and apply uh, call the apply calls function and pass census as a data frame and we also uh, let's uh, create list of columns to 40 estimates <coughs> to 10 census and 2000 census then and we call, we pass list of columns as an argument and run this set. Then we can uh, then census data frame. Now uh, let's look at this data. All the HTML tags are removed from our data. That's our, uh, let's look, let's expand all the rows dd.set options to uh, understand the values of or, or rows in uh, 
our data frame display dot maximum rows rows 200 <coughs> let's let's look our data our data uh, contains 103 rows and four columns but the last four columns has no data no value no records so we uh, gonna be dropped drop out from our data those columns are not important uh, so uh, we going to be uh, removed or dropped uh, but our data still contains different characters for example uh, uh, let's uh, see this citation symbol because this data is scrapped from website so it, it re, uh, uses a citation symbol that refers something or uh, refers some some uh, sources from somewhere and it contains hyphen it contains a uh, comma so those are special characters no longer needed for our uh, data no, not important for uh, 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 machine learning uh, building machine learning uh, pipeline or model therefore we gonna be uh, removed for, from our data <coughs> to do this let's define another uh, function remove characters characters from our data df data frame list of columns for every call call in columns df dot i mean dot apply for every column call dot string dot replace we can use string uh, manipulation replace method string dot replace for example a square bracket with mpt string we can enable reg x, which means regular expression. We have also another uh, symbols that is we can replicate and change this to comma symbol. And there is another uh, symbol hyphen. So those uh, should be uh, removed. Let's check our data again i mean i mean uh, first we should uh, call remove characters and uh, pass the data frame as an argument and list of columns then check it census now our data is cleaned all the characters are removed from our data let's look at like this but the last uh, the four rows has no value so we can uh, drop and then drop an a from axis zero from rows and apply to all through let's look now we have removed we have 100 rows and four columns but still the first column is not parsed and separated because it, it it contains two different values city and county let's separate in uh, into different uh, columns to do this <coughs> DF, I mean, uh, census city vertical bar. So the two values are separated by vertical bars. Therefore, census city county. and 
apply lambda lambda x x dot split the string the value of this column into two using a vertical bar uh, uh, using vertical bar or or symbol now let's check now it's uh, converted into list uh, because split method is a, a string manipulation to a split uh, uh, a string into uh, two using uh, some uh, separation or a split uh, mechanism for example in, uh, into this uh, string is uh, separated into two using a vertical bar uh, separation mechanism now uh, again this is the list so we should uh, separate into two uh, to do this census uh, create a new column city and census city from a uh, county and apply lambda x x index the because the first uh, zero index zero and in index one to uh, 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 list values so the first uh, at index zero is represent as a city the value of city column and index one is county therefore but there may be other uh, symbols or variables that's str plus Uh, there is question mark in this regard. Let, let's look at here. Then replace this, and also remove stripe. Stripe, which means remove spaces from left and right side. I mean this replaced by this. Oh. There is string object has no. Okay, this is not important. Now we can check. Now we have created subparate column city, and we can apply this the same step for separating county from uh, this column and create a new column county. And just change this to column uh, index one. And we can check. Now we have uh, created two separate columns which contains city and county. Then we can drop the first column because it, this is no longer needed uh, for uh, our uh, data. Therefore, we drop columns column name city county and axis one or column from our data and apply in place now we can check this is our clean data Let's check our uh, data types of our data. D types. Look, the census data, uh, all the data types are object, which means a string. So that the first three columns should be a number, number, because the, the, the number of populations in uh, in the year 2040 2010, uh, uh, 2010 and 2000 therefore uh, to do this let's define uh, two numeric method df and columns list of columns for every call in columns we apply 
pf call td dot to numeric call numeric census calls I mean here I forget there is DF call that's why it generates some error now it's it, it, uh, converted into a uh, numeric, which means number uh, uh, converted into number data type. It's now all uh, the first two columns converted into integer, the third column converted into float. And the last two columns is it, it, no problem. It, 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 they are uh, in a string format. Now we have converted our data into structured formats. So uh, it is ready for building, training this data. And we can build uh, machine learning models and pipelines and train this data. And we can uh, do further uh, uh, analysis. So uh, this is all about uh, today's uh, video tutorials like share and uh, subscribe my youtube channels you can also uh, ask questions if you have you can put in the comment uh, box and you can also uh, uh, ask your question in the telegram uh, channel i will put the link uh, of telegraph channel in the description box thanks for watching